Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening, Maria. How are you today? It was. It not, was? Uh, not so, not so well. Oh, what? Because I, because I was always sleepy. Because I I don't have uh, nothing to do. All the later. And so I was with um, sleep. Okay. Uh, well, and have you tried a coffee or a hot tea? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Okay, well, maybe that's going to help you. And the rest of you, how are you doing? Did you have a good day today? Ready for the weekend? Happy because tomorrow's Friday? And I'm just happy for the weekend because I can sleep more. Ah, uh, yes. That is a good way to spend the weekend, sleeping <laughs> and resting. Okay. Well, and how are you doing with the platform? Is there something that you would like to check before we start the class? Or... I, I am, teacher, I am in the exam. But um, I have problem with a question, but I don't remember the number. But it's only only one only one question of the exam. Uh -huh. But is this a final exam or the midterm exam? In final. The final. Okay. If you do remember the, the number of the exercise, you can uh, write tomorrow or maybe later. And yes. uh, I yes. will try to assist you. Yes, thank you. Maybe you remember the exercise before we finish the class. <laughs> yeah. That's okay. All right. So thank you for being on time. We're going to start the class. Um, if you don't have any question about the exam or the exercise that we are pending. Remember that you should finish section number three and the midterm exam by this week. Uh, but now, uh, yesterday we read some uh, post and uh, I think we didn't read this uh, article, right? The war news, did we? I think we didn't. Okay, so let's take turns reading. There are six paragraphs on this one. It's just rainforest remedies. We've been talking about um, or giving advice and, and suggestions. So uh, this is probably vocabulary that's going to be useful for us. Um, let's see who wants to read the part number one, paragraph one. Me. Thank you, Maria. And I, I have problem with say Rodrigo. As, uh, así como, como lo explicó ayer. Te voy a decir así normal. Rodrigo Bonilla. Uh -huh. Rodrigo Bonilla turn off the motor of the boat. We get off the boat and follow him along the path into the rainforest. Above us. A monkey with a baby hangs from a tree. Excellent. Very well done, Maria. Thank you. Number two, mm -hmm. volunteer. Yo uh, teach okay. We have Eduardo and number three, Ada Marilu. Eduardo, number two. Um, this whole January day, Rodrigo is, is not looking for wild animals, but for Medi, uh, I can't medicinal, pronounce medicinal, medicinal plants, plants that can cure, can cure, or cure or treat illnesses, illnesses 
Medicinal plants grow in rainforests around the world. Okay, thank you so much. Ada, number three. Uh, Rodrigo is Costa Rican. He learned about jungle medicine from his grandmother. He chose as many different plants, such as the broom tree. He tells us that part of, of the broom tree can help stop bleeding. Interesting. Thank you. Number four, volunteer. I would like to. Ruth. Okay, Ruth and then Diana. People have all number four. Yes, please. And Diana, five. People have always used, used natural products as medicine. In fact, about 50% of Western medicine, such as aspirin, come from natural source. source. And sources. some sources from natural sources. And some animals eat certain kinds of plants when they are sick. Thank you so much, Ruth. Diana? Okay, number five. This is why medical researchers are so interested in plants. Many companies are now working with local governments and searching the rainforests for medical plants. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much. Vicente, number yes, six. Yes, number six. Okay. So far. Okay. So far, the search has not produced any new medicine, but it's a good idea to keep looking. That's why we are now here in the Costa Rican rainforest. Okay, excellent job with this reading. Um, I think that we did touch a little bit about this yesterday. And now we have uh, uh, an exercise about it. And uh, this is in the material that you have here. So we can do it quickly. Um, set number letter A, it says read the article and then check the best dec description of the article. Number one, the article starts with a description and then gives facts. The article gives the writer's opinion or the article starts with fact and then gives advice. Which one would you choose? Number one, maybe. Number one, okay. Uh-huh. Yes, number one. Number three. <laughs> For you, three? Um, number three, I guess. Um, hmm. Okay. Now, um, well, uh, this is uh, something that you can do on your own. So, vamos a chequear cuál es el, 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 el A. Uh, because yes, in number in letter B, you have to answer these questions, so you can do it um, in your free time. But we can do the listening because this is something that is not in the is not in the platform. So yes, I, I would like for us to do it together. So let's check the first one, letter A. I, I want to make it bigger. Okay, in letter A. Uh, Eduardo said number one and Vicente said number three. Uh, let's see what's the correct answer. Number one. <laughs> uh huh. Okay, number one. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the article starts with the descriptions and then gives facts. Now, these questions you can answer in, in your notebook whenever you have a, a time or you want to review and practice. We have discussed the vocabulary, so we can go ahead and do the listening exercise. This is, uh, I'm from Honolulu. We're going to listen to Jenny talk about Honolulu. What does she say about these things? So we have to complete this information. Number one would be size of a city. Number two, the weather. Number three, prices of things. 
and number four, may, uh, the most famous place. So let's listen. And if you don't have the material in printer, no worries. You can take notes in your notebook and complete number one, two, three, and four. Just writing. Are you ready? Yes, we are ready. Okay, so let's listen to the recording. Units 11 to 12, progress check. Page 84, exercise one, listening. I'm from Honolulu. Part A, listen to Jenny talk about Honolulu. What does she say about these things? Complete the chart. So you're from Hawaii, Jenny? That's right. Where in Hawaii? I'm from Honolulu, on the island of Oahu. Wow, Honolulu. That's a fairly big city, isn't it? No, not really. It's not too big. The weather is great though, right? Oh, yes, it is. It's very comfortable the whole year. Warm, but not too hot. I've heard that Honolulu is an expensive city. Is that true? Well, yes, it is pretty expensive. Rents are high, and food is expensive too. That's because everything comes in from the mainland. What's that beach in Honolulu? Well, the most famous place in Honolulu is probably Waikiki Beach. That's where all the tourists go. Yeah, that's it. Waikiki Beach. Did you gather all the information? Uh, you want to listen one more time? One more time, please. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. Okay. Units 11 to 12, progress check. Page 84, exercise one, listening. I'm from Honolulu. Part A, listen to Jenny talk about Honolulu. What does she say about these things? Complete the chart. So you're from Hawaii, Jenny? That's right. Where in Hawaii? I'm from Honolulu, on the island of Oahu. Wow, Honolulu. That's a fairly big city, isn't it? No, not really. It's not too big. The weather is great though, right? Oh yes, it is. It's very comfortable the whole year. Warm, but not too hot. I've heard that Honolulu is an expensive city. Is that true? Well, yes, it is pretty expensive. Rents are high and food is expensive too. That's because everything comes in from the mainland. What's that beach in Honolulu? Well, the most famous place in Honolulu is probably Waikiki Beach. That's where all the tourists go. Yeah, that's it, Waikiki Beach. Did you complete it? Yes, yes teacher. Okay, so what does she said about the size of a city? Any volunteer? Units 11 to 12. Oh, sorry. <laughs> volunteer? It's not big city. It's, it's not big? City. It's not big. It's not yes. too big. Not it's not too big. Correct. It's not too big city. It's not too big. Vicenta number two, you raise your hand. What does the she say about is, the weather? The weather is nice or great. Mm -hmm. Any additional information? Uh, it's like, not hot. Uh -huh. it's, it's not hot. hot. It's warm. 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 Uh -huh. Excellent. Hot. Excellent job. It's very comfortable, warm, but not too hot. Excellent. I volunteer for number three, prices of things. It's pretty expensive. Okay. Yes, Ruth. Correct. It's pretty expensive. Thank you so much. And uh, number four, what is the most famous place? Waikiki Beach. Waikiki Beach. Waikiki Beach. Excellent. Okay, excellent job. You did it very good. Thank you so much. You're good listeners. Now, let me uh, stop sharing so that we can check what's next in our presentation uh, about the materials. 
Okay, we have a role play, but um, I'm like better to, uh, we practice also about medicine and remedies. Uh, we practice this a lot, um, uh, giving advice for different uh, problems or issues, uh, health problems. So, and here, I think that there is no new vocabulary, right? So just a stomachache, an insect bite, a nosebleed, and the hiccups. Is there a new vocabulary? Hiccups. The last two. Hiccups, the hippo. Thank you. Uh -huh. Hiccups. Uh, uh, nose bleed. And nose bleed is sangrado de nariz. Sangrado oh de nariz. Okay. okay. Thank you. So, yes, uh, this is part of the progress check. It's just like a review of the things that we've been doing. Uh, and yes, we practice this a lot. So, I consider that we can continue here. Um, and then we have the advice column. In here, yes, we could continue giving advice, um, but it's the same thing as you said, that's a good idea. Why don't you do this? You could do that. So basically same thing. So we can uh, go ahead and start the section number three. Because remember that you need to complete the exercises on the platforms from section three and the midterm exam. And I have seen that you're having some uh, issues dealing with the content in this unit, okay? So we're going to start and uh, um, I want to uh, cover this for you to be able to complete the exercises. Uh, or maybe to give you a complete explanation about the grammar here. So um, in the snapshot, uh, we have the food first. Um, this is vocabulary about food. And we have a, a brief description of, uh, of the dates where these uh, kind of foods were like created or something at uh, a description of them. Uh, noodles, who wants to read for noodles? Me teacher. Thank you, Vicente. Noodles, um, first made in China around uh, 1000, uh, I don't know what mean BCE. It's before Christ, and the, yeah, I don't remember. I'm going to investigate. Thank you, Vicente. Okay. Uh, volunteer for coffee. Volunteer. Okay, thank you, Rafael. First farmed in the Middle East in 850. Uh-huh. Thank you so much. And about the BC, yes, it can see BC or BCE, and it means before Christ, ante de Cristo. Pero sí, yo solo lo había visto como oh, BC, no. pero ya vi que ajá, oh, oh, también no. se puede hacer like BCE. Uh -huh. Okay, chocolate. I volunteer to read about chocolate. Listening, Patricia, sorry. Patricia, okay. And Maris, you're in mute. Any other volunteer? Me, teacher. Francisco, thank you. Okay, uh, brought to uh, chocolate brought to Spain from Mexico in 1520. Thank you so much. French fries, Maria del Carmen. First made in Belgium around 1680. 1680, excellent. Thank you so much. A volunteer for sushi. Me, teacher. Thank you, Rafael. Modern stylish sushi fears. 
Maiden in Japan in the 70s. 17, eh, 70s. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 
Okay. Any other question? I have a question, teacher. Mm -hmm. um, here it's called Ilora. Uh, I know her. It's the name of the restaurant. Uh, it's a place. Uh huh. It's the place. Uh huh. Any other question? No, thank you. Okay, uh, we're going to listen to the rest of the conversation and listen. This is the information that we need to get. What time do they decide to have dinner? And where do they decide to meet? Let's listen and answer these two questions. What time do they decide to have dinner and where do they decide to meet? Page 86, Exercise 2, Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What time do they decide to have dinner? Where do they decide to meet? So, do you want to eat early or late? Let's eat early. Then maybe we can go to a movie afterward. Good idea. Why don't we have dinner around 6? Six? 6 is good. And where do you want to meet? Let's meet at the restaurant, okay? Yeah. That's fine with me. Easy. That was a piece of cake. What time did they decide to uh, have dinner? Around six. Around six. Oh. At six. Uh -huh. Around and six. Where did they decide to meet? A restaurant. In the restaurant. At the restaurant. Okay. In the restaurant. Good. Excellent. All right, so we're going to listen to the conversation one more time, and I'm going to stop the recording so that you can repeat, and afterwards we're going to go to the breakout rooms. So let's practice. Unit 13. May I take your order? Page 86, Exercise 2, Conversation. Getting something to eat. Part A. Listen and practice. Say, do you want to get something to eat? Sure, I'm tired of studying. So, oh my. So, what do you think of Indian food? I love it, but I'm not really in the mood for it today. Yeah, I'm not either, I guess. It's a bit spicy. Do you like Japanese food? Yeah, I like it a lot. So do I. And I know a great restaurant near here. It's called Aroha. Oh, I've always wanted to go there. Okay, let's practice this conversation in our breakout room. So give me one moment. I think. Or it's okay. Okay, let's practice.
who's going to start? Eh, yo voy a empezar con Jeff. Entonces yo soy Bo. Ok. Say, so, what would you like to go to dinner, Tony? Sure. Why do you want to go? Well, well, what do you think of Indian food? I love it, but I'm not really in the mood for it today. Yeah, I not ate either. It was it a piece of spice. Do you like Japanese food? Oh, I like it a lot. I do too. And I know a nice Japanese, Japanese restaurant near here. It's called Iroha. Oh, I... I... I be always wanted to to go there. Let's go. Okay, yes, very good job. So remember in this Ive, la E no se pronuncia, no es Ive, it's Ive, Ive. Uh-huh, no, no, no se pronuncia la E, uh -huh. excellent, Ive. Okay. Francisco. Yes. Um, okay. Also. Mm. Uh, I will be okay, just okay. say, would you like to go out to dinner tonight? Sure. Where do you want to go? Why? What do you think of Indian food? I love it, but I'm not really in the mood for it today. Yeah, I am not a either. I guess it's a bit sweet spice. Hmm. How do you like Japanese food? Oh, I like it a lot. I do too. And I know a nice Japanese restaurant near here. It's called Airoha. Oh, I see. Always wanted, wanted to go there. Perfect. Let's go. Okay. I think it's my turn. Okay. I'll be just who wants to be Bob. Okay. Say, so, would you like to go out to dinner tonight? So, where do you want to go? Well, what do you think of Indian food? I love it, but I'm not really in the mood for it today. Yeah, I'm not either. I guess it's a bit spicy. Mm, how do you like Japanese food? Oh, I like it a lot. I do too. And I know I like Japanese restaurant near here. It's called Airona. Oh, I've always wanted to go there. Terrific, let's go. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. You did it great. Thank you. Now we are going to change. Okay. You can be just. Okay. Say, so, would you like to go out to dinner tonight? Sure. Where do you want to go? Well, what do you think of Indian food? I love it, but I'm not really in the mood for it today. Yeah, I'm not either, I guess. It's a little spicy. Mm, how do you like Japanese food? Oh, I like it a lot. I do too. And I know a, a nice Japanese restaurant near here. It's called Airoha. Oh, I always want to go there. Terrific. Let's go. Excellent. You sound really natural. Excellent job.
Creo que todavía tenemos un minuto antes de salir de la plataforma. Creo que hay otra persona aquí. Creo que es la teacher. Hey, are Patricia, Ruth, Diana, Rafael, and Eduardo. Ya eh, yeah. como la primera vuelta, por si me dicen. Hoy empiezo yo, si le parece. Y hoy Rafael hace a Bob y yo hago a Jeff. Ok. Ok. Eh, say, do you want to get something to eat? Sure, I am tired of study. So, Manai, uh, so what do you think? What do you think of Indian food? I love it, but I am not really in the mood for it today. Yeah, I'm not either. I guess. It's a bit spicy. Do you like Japan Japanese food? Yeah, I like it a lot. So do you so do I am it I know a great restaurant near near here it's called Ilora. Oh I always want. Uh, I always wanted to go there. Okay. Cambio y por ti, Diana. Say, do you want to get something to eat? Diana. Sure, I'm tired of a study. So am I. What do you think of Indian food? I love it, but I'm not really in the mood for it today. Yeah, I'm not either. I guess it's a bit spicy. Do you like Japanese food? Yeah, I like it a lot. So do I, and I know a great restaurant near here. It's called Hero. Uh -huh. Oh, I always wanted to go there. Yeah, you did it very good. Uh, it's just a Iroha. Yeah, the name of the restaurant, but yes, and the rest of the conversation you did not good. So as long as you practice more, it will become... Uh... Say, do you want to get something to eat? Sure, I'm tired of studying. So am I. So, what do you think of Indian food? I love it, but I'm not really in the mood for it today. Yeah, I'm not either. I guess it's a bit spicy. Do you like Japanese food? Yeah, I like it a lot. So do, so do I. And I know a great restaurant near air. It's called Iroha. Oh, I always want to go there. Okay. Excellent. <laughs> yeah, you did it pretty good. Thank you. Uh, okay.
Yeah, Thank and it is a nice idea because, yes, I know that some of you have some issues with the internet connection and you cannot join the breakout rooms, but it is a good idea to practice with the people who is in the in the uh, main section because they cannot join the rooms. So that's nice that you practice um, even though you couldn't join the room. So congratulations. That's nice. Good. Thank you, teacher. Okay, so now that everybody's back again, we're going to check attendance. So remember to turn on your cameras and say present as soon as you hear your names. Uh, let me get the file. Um, Okay, Rosa Hilda says I'm here. Okay, thank you so much. Mm. Mm -hmm. Ana Marilu. Present teacher. Thank you, Ada. Alejandra Beatriz. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Ana Ivania. Present teacher. Thank you. Ana Silvia de Flores. Present. Thank you. Ana Silvia de Funes. Present teacher. Thank you. Ana Yancy Martinez. Thank you. Um, Cristina del Carmen. Present. Thank you. Daniel Alejandro. Diana Stephanie. Present teacher. Thank you. Dina Esmeralda. Present. Thank you. Eduardo Jose. Present. Thank you. Evelyn Susana. Present. Francisco Daniel. Present. Thank you. Iris Concepcion. Present, teacher. Thank you, Iris. Maria del Carmen. Present, teacher. Thank you. Um, let's see. Uh, Patricia and Maris. Rafael Cruz. Thank you, Patricia. Present Thank you, Rafael. Rafael Ernesto. Present teacher. Thank you. Rosa Hilda. Ok, Rosa. Um, ya vi su mensaje. Aquí la voy a anotar. Rosa Hilda. Okay, uh, Ruth Elizabeth. Present. Thank you, Ruth. Sandra Noemi. Sandra Noemi. Vicente Israel. Here, teacher. Thank you. Jessica Rosibel. Present. Thank you. Okay. Now, now that we practice the conversation, let's see what's next. After the conversation, we have this uh, grammar spot that I know that some of you have been um, dealing with this. So we're going to watch the video. And then you tell me if you have reached this exercise in the platform, if you've been having issues, if it is not really clear, you tell me. Let's watch the video together. And also remember if you have questions about the exercises related to this exercise, you can ask.
Hi, did you copy the agreement words? Very good. Now we'll teach you when to use each. Try to make sense of what you see on the following chart. Don't go as we walk you through the use of so, to, neither, either, and more examples. So, to, neither, either. I like Japanese food a lot. So do I. I do too. Really? I don't like it very much. I'm crazy about dessert. So am I. I am too. Oh, I'm not. I can eat really spicy food. So can I. I can too. Really? I can't. I don't like greasy food. Neither do I. I don't either. Oh, I like it a lot. I'm not in the mood for Indian food. Neither am I. I'm not either. Really? I am. I can't stand fast food. Neither can I. I can't either. Oh, I love it. The use of to and so to agree with something being said to us. In English, we can use to or so in short answers to show we agree with something or someone. Notice we use the auxiliary verb of the short answer of the statement being said to us. For example, I am hungry. I am too. So am I. I love apple pie. I do too. So do I. I can play chess. I can too. So can I. The position of two is right at the end. Follow me. Subject, auxiliary, two. The position of so is right at the beginning. Follow me again. So, auxiliary plus subject. Now let's study the use of neither and either. To show agreement with negative statements, we can use neither and either. We also use the auxiliary verb of the short answer of the statement. Pay attention to the following. We use the negative auxiliary when we use either and the positive auxiliary with either. Follow the examples. I am not hungry. I am not either. Neither am I. I don't dance salsa. I don't either. Neither do I. I can't swim. I can't either. Neither can I. I'll leave you with the formula so you understand it better. Subject plus negative auxiliary plus either. Notice either goes at the end. Neither plus positive auxiliary plus subject. Notice neither goes at the beginning. Please agree with me in the following statements. Write your responses on our discussion box. I like ice cream. I am happy. I love pizza. I can't swim. I don't like French. Okay, how was it? Was it easy? Have you done those exercises? I don't understand when uh, when you use either and neither. Okay. Oh, yeah, we can make this shorter. Okay, so that is one question here. So when do we use neither and when do I use either? Well, um remember that in this case we are showing agreement and neither and either are <clears throat> are used when we are replying to a negative statement come on one second please okay Thank you so much. Um, well, estamos diciendo eh, el neither y el either es igual. Ambos son utilizados para mostrar que estamos en acuerdo con alguna. Um, esto va cuando, si se fijan en el cartel, 
I don't like spicy food. I am not in the mood for Indian food. Y I can't stand fast food. Okay. ¿Qué tienen en común esas tres oraciones? Lo mm. que tienen... Que, que son en negativo. Excelente, Eduardo. Eso es, son negativas. Entonces, esto se utiliza en, cuando en una oración alguien nos expresa en negativo y nosotros eh, compartimos esa opinión, entonces es como decir a mí tampoco. ¿Ok? Estamos, no estamos de acuerdo, estamos de acuerdo en, en eso. Somos iguales. De, Ajá. Entonces, ¿cuál es la diferencia? Neither lo utilizo al principio de la oración. Y el, el, por ejemplo, aquí ven que el auxiliar que se utilizó en la primera es el do, ¿verdad? Pero como en este caso está en negativo, entonces es uh, don't. Entonces, para aquí el neither ya es negativo. Neither ya es negativo. Entonces, como neither ya es negativo, el auxiliar lo dejo en simple. Porque entonces, entonces había como dos negaciones, ¿verdad? Entonces, uh -huh. si utilizo neither, recuerden que neither va al principio y ya es negativo. Entonces, el sí. auxiliar va a ir um, simple, no va a ir negativo. Va a ir así, como lo ven ahí. Por ejemplo, aquí dice don't, pero aquí lo pongo do, porque esto es negativo, el neither. Neither do uh -huh. I. Ahora, si yo voy a utilizar el auxiliar en negativo, entonces para completar mi oración en negativo uso either y el either va al final. Uh -huh. okay. Entonces Good. aquí sí necesito que el auxiliar vaya negativo porque either no es un um, negativo, ¿ok? Son lo mismo, solo que gramaticalmente, ¿verdad? Eh, la posición neither y que ya es negativo. Either no es negativo, entonces necesito que me soporte un auxiliar en negativo, ¿ok? Y va a ir al final el either. ¿Hoy Muchas sí quedó gracias. claro? Yes. We got it, teacher. Thank you very much. Yes. Excelente. Teacher. Me alegra mucho. Thank you. Hola, ¿sí? Eh, yo había visto el significado, como que el neither era tampoco y eh, either era también. Ok, ajá, si sí, lo están traduciendo así, pero vamos a lo mismo, tampoco y también. Entonces el tampoco es el negativo y el también es el positivo. Okay, okay. Entonces, eh, como neither ya es negativo, el que uh -huh. traduciríamos como tampoco, entonces sí, ya no necesitamos una negación adicional. Y el sí, either, sí. pues, él es, él es positivo, entonces, pero... Entonces, por eso es que necesito que haya un soporte negativo. Para eso está el auxiliar. Y acuérdense okay. que esto es como un juego. Vamos a ir jugando con el mismo auxiliar. Si el auxiliar de mi oración es el do, en este caso don't, ¿verdad? Porque estamos negativos. Voy a usar el mismo en mis respuestas. ¿Ok? A no yeah. ser que yo venga y diga lo contrario, ¿verdad? La idea es el, el, el afirmar el... Estoy de acuerdo, pero ok, me dicen, I don't like salty food. Y perfectamente yo puedo decir, neither do I, como decir a mí tampoco. Pero de repente tal vez sí me gusta la comida salada. Entonces, oh, I like it a lot. Entonces ahí rompo la, la aquello de que estamos en la misma sintonía, ¿verdad? Ya no estoy en no esa sintonía bien. y la rompo de esa manera. Uh -huh. Se ve la diferencia. Pero si estamos, ajá, si estamos de acuerdo con lo que nos están diciendo, vamos a ir bailando con el mismo auxiliar do, do. Verbo be, verbo be. Auxiliar can, auxiliar can en la respuesta. ¿Ok? Tienen que ir haciendo ese matching. Any question? No, teacher. I guess no, the teacher. No. Ok, muy bien. ¿Y ya llegaron hasta ese ejercicio en la plataforma? Yes. 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 Okay. yes. Excelente. Acuérdense que ya tienen que tener completo el, el sección 1, 2, 3 y el midterm exam. 
Así es que si van adelante, pues mucho que mejor, felicidades. Pero sí, si tienen alguna, alguna duda o pregunta, traten de, de por favor mandarlo para poderles ayudar rapidito. Eh, la captura con el número de ejercicio para poder ver en qué número está, porque a veces eh, en el ratito que nos metemos, ya sean sus compañeros de clase o yo, entonces estamos tratando de ayudar y después se nos acaba el chancecito que teníamos y no era ese el ejercicio que quería, era otro, entonces ya nos perdimos, vea. Entonces, okay. manden la captura con el número de ejercicio para poderles ayudar y eh, que no vayan a atrasarse por eso, ¿ok? okay. Y ejercicio. mañana, mañana vamos a practicar el ejercicio. Hola, Vicente. No, oh, thank you. Okay, you're more than welcome. So tomorrow we're going to practice uh, this grammar topic and I'm really happy that it is clearer for you now. <laughs> Maybe you have some okay. doubts, but you said that it's clearer now, but tomorrow we will practice to reinforce. Okay. Okay. All right, okay. okay. So, no thank you thank so you. much for joining. And hope to see you tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.